Assalamu alaikum, namaste, hotep, shalom alaikum, peace. This is Tracy Lene Muhammad, and I wanted just a few minutes of your very valuable and precious time because I have to go teach a yoga class. But I wanted to remind you, if you don't know already or if it slipped your brain, that tomorrow is a new moon. New moon energy is the perfect time to start the manifestation process of what it is you want. It's just like if you want to eat zucchini and you have the seed, you have to plant the zucchini and allow it to grow. Well, tomorrow's energy is that planting energy where you can decide what is it that you want to see in your life and then tomorrow plant the seeds. You can do that so many ways and there's so many different schools of thought and how to pre prepare for that. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and perhaps it resonates with you. What I am going to do is I am going to wait until the moon is visible. I'm sorry, the moon isn't going to be visible tomorrow. That's for the full moon. What I want to do is go outside when it's dark, when I know the moon should be visible, but I won't see it. And I am going to write out everything that I want to manifest. Now, if you get yourself a natal chart, and I do know someone who can do that for you, you can understand what's best for you to manifest with this Virgo full moon because every full moon has different energy attached to it. If you already have your natal chart, great. If you don't, let me know. You can DM me, inbox me, text me, however you want to get in touch with me. Leave a note down in the YouTube and then you, I'll put you in touch with someone that can do that for you. And right now she's having a special until the 26th of September. So it's be perfect for you to jump in and get your natal chart done. The natal chart will allow you, like I just said, to know what's best for you to manifest in the particular house you're in at the particular time. Now, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write out what it is I want to manifest. Before I begin, I'm going to take at least 18 deep breaths. I chose the number 18 because 18 resonates with me. I see it on everything. You may choose a different number, but I'm going to get myself in the state of being present in the moment I'm in. And I'm going to write out exactly what it is I want to manifest. As I write it out, I'm going to see myself on the steps that it's going to take to get that manifestation from seedling to actual bearing the fruit. As I do that, I'm going to trust that my guides, my team of angels, the divine power that I serve is helping me to manifest it. And I'm going to ask for that help. Asking allows you to, to of course, receive help. After I finish writing everything out and believing in it, I'm going to, for me, I'm going to put it to my heart, give all the gratitude I can, and I'm going to put it on my manifestation altar. Look at that cloud behind me. Now, I'm looking at it from a different view, but it looks like a face, like a face is watching me and a face in the shoulder. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I see. I see a side of a face just watching me, knowing that I'm protected and I'm loved and I'm blessed and so are you. So just wanted a few minutes to tell you that tomorrow, new moon, new moon energy, new ideas, get your boss life on. I'm pretty sure you're already there. Maybe you want to go up a few levels and if you're not there, don't beat yourself up. You can get there. Understand that sometimes we manifest, we go to manifest and that particular thing doesn't happen. Something else could come because maybe that's what we need more of. The shadow self has to come out and present itself. And by shadow, I mean the things that you need to work on. So you may be going towards working towards something and then it just fall to shit. Perhaps it's trying to tell you that there's some work you need to do. Don't be discouraged. It's okay to yell, scream, holler, cry, do all of that. But then get back up on that horse and ride it again. Understand that your life is what you make of it. You are special, unique, talented, blessed, gifted, all of those things. I'm going to teach this class now. I love you. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Hotep. Shalom alaikum. Peace out to Brooklyn and everywhere else.